It's about time. We finally get the reveal to the new Batman game from Warner Brothers Montreal. And the game is called exactly what people have speculated. It's called Gotham Knights. In this game, apparently, Commissioner Gordon has died and Batman is also now dead, according to the message that Bruce Wayne leaves his team of sidekicks. And yeah, I doubt he is really dead. You know they aren't going to do that. But until we get that reveal later on in the story, this is apparently a game where the sidekicks are running the show. And I gotta say, I am glad that the Batman games are branching out and that the stories are not just to do with Batman. So fans of Nightwing and the rest of the team get to have stories that involve them. But I gotta say, without Batman, the game does feel like it's missing something big. And from the gameplay that we got to see, the game does give me some vibes from the new live service Avengers game, which is the first superhero game I can think of in recent memory, where I did not want to play it in the slightest. That being said, I like the idea that we have to protect Gotham without having the same level of authority and power that we get playing as Batman. It will make you feel more vulnerable when playing as these characters, and I can imagine that in the game's story, the characters are going to have a hard time maintaining order in Gotham City without Batman there to support them. And I hope that us gamers really feel that lack of support and power. It can make for great storytelling and great dynamics and character development between what are essentially Batman's children, and it can provide a different gameplay experience. So, what did I think of the actual gameplay that was on display? Well, first off, I really hope this game is open world and is not a linear level to level based game. Whether the game is open world or not has not been officially confirmed, but my guess is that they will give us a big open world Gotham City to free roam in. And as for the gameplay itself, something I noticed about it is that it seems to be a soft reboot of the Arkham games. It has a very different gameplay presentation whilst keeping the core of the gameplay from the Arkham games intact. By that, I mean that you get the combat system, you get the stealth predator system, and you even have the grapples and gliding system. And I like how even though the game is clearly not taking place in the same world as the Arkham games, it does keep a lot of the same gameplay mechanics, so I am glad that they are doing that. And it's worth pointing that out. This game does not take place in the continuity of the Arkham series, and seems to be taking place in a completely different world. So all that I like. Now here are the problems. The game is keeping the core gameplay from the Arkham games and is almost rebooting it at the same time, and although I like that idea in concept, in execution it looks very unrefined when compared to the Arkham series. Probably where the game feels the most like the Arkham games is during the Predator gameplay. It looks very similar to the pre-existing Arkham games, but it looks much more stiff and awkward at the same time, and for some reason, it doesn't look anywhere near as fun as it did before. Also, I am not that impressed with the music during these parts of the game. It sounds sounds very cheap when compared to the orchestral music that we got in the Arkham games, and the music in Gotham Knights is also going for a more electronic sound, and I don't think it works to the game's advantage. It's different, and I appreciate that they're trying to go for a different approach, but it just makes it come off as cheap in comparison to the previous Batman games, when in actuality, it should feel more expensive and new than the previous games. But no, the previous games feel more new, and this game feels more dated strangely. So as you can tell, I am not entirely convinced that they managed to pull off this idea of combining the old with the new. The game clearly still needs a lot of work, and I think what it really needs is fluidity, because the game looks very stiff right now, whereas the Arkham games from their inception have always been fluid and refined. This just looks very restrictive. I also hope that they get rid of the number points when you attack the thugs. I never like numbers showing up when you're attacking enemies as a kid, and I still don't like it when I'm an adult. It takes away from the cinematic look of the action sequences, and it makes it feel less like you're watching a realistic action scene. And the graphics are also very hit and miss for me. They look great in parts, but again, they look very stiff and unrefined in others. It really is a mixed bag for me. So the game looks okay, but it does not look great. There is something lacking in his presentation, and the word that keeps entering my mind is stiff. The game looks stiff when compared to the full-on fluidity of the Arkham games, and although the graphics do look good, they don't look like they are better than the graphics in Arkham Knight. I think Arkham Knight, even before it released with its E3 footage, looks a lot more consistent and of a higher quality with its gameplay presentation. This... I know it's not finished yet, but neither was the Batman Arkham games when they were being showed at E3 presentations, but they still impressed us for the time. This is not really impressing me, it still feels like it needs a lot of work. Also, the Court of Owls that has been rumoured and hinted at for this game for as long as I can remember is in fact in this game. I have the comic book, but I still haven't read it yet, so I'm looking forward to reading it and seeing it unfold in the game. So yeah, comment below and let me know what you thought of the reveal of Gotham Knights. I personally am very happy that we finally got 
to see this damn game after all the annoying teasing, but I am disappointed with the look that we got. The game needs a lot of work, and I wouldn't be surprised if the game got delayed. It is set to be released in 2021, and I am positive that it is going to get delayed. So yeah, comment below and let me know what you thought, and stay tuned for my other coverage of the DC fandom event. Thank you very much for watching guys, please click that thumbs up button if you haven't already, and also click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date for all my future videos, and also feel free to donate to me on Patreon, even if it's just one dollar, it really does help support the channel. Thanks again for watching guys, and I will catch all of you very soon. Take care.